Yo, what is up guys? It's Christmas Eve. You know, we're just rearranging the presents. Got my sister. Yeah, we got a lot of presents to rearrange though. Most of them are Naya and Deja's. Cause they're the cutie ones. Huh, Naya? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> a few inches later. Yeah, we just got all our stuff organized now. Honey, you got a lot of gifts. <laughs> yeah, those are all her gifts. Here's uh my mom's, my dad's, and there's mine. I swear, when Obama was president, I swear I had more gifts. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, so for usually every Christmas Eve, we I usually open one present. So I think I'm just gonna open one present right now. Like no one really knows. It's just me. <laughs> I'm such a naughty. Kid. All right, let's see. What, let's pick one. Um. I'm gonna go with this one. Kitty. Right here, here we go. Oh, they're shorts. I'm gonna go to sleep right now. I'm sorry, I gotta be quiet right now because they're all sleeping and it's just me watching TV. Hey, it's Christmas. You want to open presents? No. Why not? No. What's wrong? I made this ornament last she night. Did really good. Oh. I also made this one too. Oh, did you? No, it's cute. <laughs> Another one you made? Yeah. Oh, that one's cute. That is cute. Yeah. Wow, you did a good job on that one. That's I got with clothes and some clear assault because I'm ugly. No. She likes it. <laughs> niece got a little pump doll all right guys so i'm back home in if just playing some fortnite yeah so i'm gonna review my presents to show you guys what i got it's got some underwear clear saw so my face would be more clear got this dope ass puma shirt my dad got me this one's also really nice. He put this, some thought into that. I'm still gonna rock these. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if they say, Jackson, you're wearing swimming shorts. Nah, bro. <laughs> I got some socks too, so. So, my mom, she got me that one. And, no, actually, my mom got me this one too. I'm sorry, mom. Oh, my sister bought me this too. Honestly, hopefully I don't wear this too much because uh, I don't want to overwear this jacket, you know? Kids seem to do that all the time. They'd be wearing the same jacket every day. But no, not me. I'm going to save this jacket. But yeah, guys, I'm just laying in bed. I'm just thinking about, like, all the first videos I made. And I noticed my going to Chamao video, I said that I would set a goal to get, like, at least a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. 1,000 subscribers at the end? Damn. Maybe even more? Maybe 10,000. That's crazy, dude. It's actually, like... I think I set my goal way too high, honestly, because getting a lot of subscribers is just, you can't just like expect all the clout, you know? It takes, it takes hard work if you really want it, you know? So currently I have 316 subs. Yeah, I think I'm doing really good for myself, honestly. I don't care what, how much views I got. It's just, I really like making these videos. Whatever like motivated me to do YouTube was last year. Last year was like really boring and I would like always be on Snapchat all the time and I noticed, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be a vlogger this next upcoming year because, like, I've always wanted to, like, start a YouTube channel, too, when I was younger. So, I'm just having fun with YouTube right now, so. If I'm not posting as much, just know I'm just taking a break or something. I'm not gonna announce, like, every other YouTuber that I'm taking a break, like, hey, I'm gonna take a break for, like, 5,000 weeks, you know? I'm not gonna be that YouTuber, I'm just gonna be, like, chilling. I know, sometimes I may say seem way too stressed out for these videos but i actually really enjoy making them so just remember i'm not doing it for the clout i'm just i just really like making videos because ever since when my freshman year i was i joined the filmmaking club and it was, it was it was a funny story my um teacher miss stewart no no i was sitting in the computer lab and i was just chilling and then i i seen miss stewart she was like all right everybody so i guess they're doing um they're giving pizza out and i was like they're giving pizza out is they're having a pizza party for whoever joins filmmaking club and i was like oh cool pizza i went in there and i seen a lot of people and i was like wow honestly i didn't go for the few, first few weeks but i heard they were making like a like a short film and i was like wow i i didn't mean to sleep on it but at first i wasn't interested because i thought it was kind of boring at first then after i heard that they're doing like a short film 
I was in it. It was. It's actually really cringy. I don't know if I would have put the link in the description. <laughs> it's really cringy. I did it. I did it my sophomore year, and we went to this trip to the to some TV show. It was called the An Angie Tribeca. I think it was season three, four. I don't know. I don't watch the TV show, but it was pretty cool, honestly. Like we met some famous people. It's actually a vlog. I'll put that. I'll put that link in the description too. It was my friend Torrance's vlog. I don't know why he stopped vlogging. He was. I liked his videos. Anyways, the people were talking about like how we were like um how we could like become like big people. We could influence people to do better and stuff. So I'm actually really think about, thinking about that too because I was really inspired that day. I think everyone was too because like we met famous people and I was like, wow, we met famous people, you know? I was just coming up with a way to buy a camera. This nice ass G7X I have. I really love it and I know a lot of YouTubers use it. And if you're a YouTuber, you should, you should really try to buy it. It's actually... It's actually a really good vlogging camera. I know it's overrated and everything, but it may be small, but the quality's great. I was talking to my um, filmmaking teacher about it, and she said the best editing software was to use was Adobe Premiere, and I was like, the Adobe Premiere? And I was like, what's that? And she was like, oh, it's just it's just better than everything. I was working all the cash I got. I spent like um, one rack and $100 for this all this setup, so... That's why I had a boost basically to YouTube. And I noticed no one makes YouTube videos at Jamal besides all the the low quality camera peoples. I mean, I'm not downing anybody, but it's uh, not really about the quality. It's about the stories. Yeah, I've actually like been really shy around cameras. So this is a good way to overcome your fear too. So if you want to become a YouTuber, you do that. Like if you're, if you're my friend and you're really watching this and you really want to become a YouTuber, do it, dude. Like. We could do collabs together, we could like, do really fun stuff together, you know, like, it'll be fun, like, it's just not me, cause like, I'm the only one around with the camera at school vlogging. Sometimes I'll be like, uh, should I vlog or should I just not, you know what I'm saying, like, um, my name's really irrelevant under Chamala, so, people, um, see me a lot, actually, um, cause I got 800 views, 800 plus views on that going to Chamala video. That video wasn't a really a slapper, I was just getting used of editing, being uh, the popular one, people will copy you, but it's alright, I don't mind if anyone copies me or anything, I mean, it actually makes me feel better, because I'm not like, the only one doing it, I guess you would say, <laughs> I'm leading a train, I'm a leader, <laughs> no, I kidding. But if, you, if all you guys like my videos, thank you guys for watching, I think I'm a dip on this video, yeah!